Good morning. Welcome to the Oak. We thank you for joining our Sunday morning worship service, and we thank you that you are blessed to be a blessing. And I thank God for each and every one of you out there today. You could have been watching someone else, but you decided to come on to watch us this morning, and we thank you for that. We thank God for the man of God who's going to be bringing the word today, Pastor Walter Humphrey from Beyond Words in Jefferson, uh, Georgia. Glory to God, I expect great things from this man of God. This man of God is closing out an awesome uh, August service that we've had. We've had some awesome preachers this month, and he's closing things out this, today, and I'm expecting God to move by his spirit in this place. So I ask that you sit back, relax, enjoy your cup of coffee, enjoy your tea. Just relax and, and enjoy God as he moves in this, in this place this morning. So we get ready to have the, the, the Beyond Words praise team come forward to sing a song. And we just know that you will be blessed by them. So I ask that the praise team come forward. Amen. God bless you and enjoy the service. Amen.
for thanksgiving and praise, my heart, Lord. Realize, Lord, you've been good to us. You've been better with us. We've been to our own self, Lord. We need to say thank you. Thank you for the blood that's just running home in our body. We're pushing our healthy strength on Heavenly Father. Father God, thank you once who be able to come out into your house and worship one more time, Lord. And just to show that you should wear two or three gathered in your name, you'll be in the midst of us, Heavenly Father. We just thank you for being in the midst of us right now, Lord Jesus. And put open up the door so we can be able to come in and have fellowship with you, O oh Lord. So we'll be missing coming into your house, oh Lord, and giving you honor and praise, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. Amen. amen.
his sacrifice and his sacrificial suffering. Uh -huh. That we as children of God have been given the power to become ministers of reconciliation. All right now, all right now. Without the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ, we have nothing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Without his suffering, we don't have the church. All right, now. Without his crucifixion, we don't have the church. All right, all right. And so, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, because of what I've just described to you as partially the good news, as we go further in the good news, we not only find out that he died, but the rest of the good news is, is that he rose again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not only did he rise again, he but the, the cap of the good news is that he's coming back for you and I. Yes, yes. And in saying that, we know that in part of our ministry experience and our ministry message, it is that we show or we tell dying men and women, boys and girls, that they too can have that same experience. All right, uh, all they right. too can have the same experience that you had, that they have uh, uh, fallen away with this world and have come to realize who Jesus Christ is in their lives. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not only did he die for me, Marlon Humphrey, but he died for you as well. Yes, yes. And one of the things I've discovered is that God is no respecter of person. He died for the black man. He died for the white man. He died right for the now. Chinese man. He died yes, for the Indian man. Yes, Whoever they are, that's who he died for. Yes, the Bible lets us know that whosoever will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's who his death is for. For yes, God sir. so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten son yes. that whosoever Believing in him should not perish All right, but have everlasting life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is shouting news to the church, ladies and gentlemen, to come together on Sunday morning to just, just in fact, lift up the name of Jesus past all of our weekly circumstances. All right. Past all of the difficulties that we experience throughout the course of the week. Past all of the bad news. Past yeah. all of the fake news. Past all of the true news. Past all of the political posturing. It is a good opportunity for God's children to come to church. All right now. All right now. We are not neglect the assembling of ourselves. Why? Because this is where we come to refuse. Yes, sir. Yes, this sir. This is where we come to get stirred up. This is where yeah. we come uh, to get filled up so that we can go a little further. All right, now. All right. So that we can grow a little bit better. So yes, that sir. we yes, can uh, work this ministry of reconciliation a little right. bit more effective. We All cannot. Right. You cannot become an effective minister of reconciliation if you don't come to church. Yeah. All right, now. All right, now. All right, now. I know what you're saying. I can do church at home. I can praise God. Yes, you can. And you should be doing that right now for those of you that are watching by way of Facebook Live. All right. But one thing I discovered is this, that if the church ain't in you, then you ain't going to be in church. All right. One of the things we got to understand is this, is this that the church is not the brick and mortar of, of bricks and, and stone and concrete, but the church is the brick and mortar of you, yes, yes, of yes, me, yes. of all of us, that we yes. make up the brick and mortar of the church. Yes, and without that brick and mortar, watch this, we are just the bricks, but it is the Holy Ghost that becomes the mortar. Right, and it is Jesus Christ that is the chief cornerstone. Yes. And it's the Father that owns it all. I wish somebody would understand today, yes. ladies and gentlemen, that just because you said it's your church, it don't belong to you. Right. But it really belongs to God. Yes. Have a witness here. Yes, and for that reason, for that reason, because he is our Father, yes. we should not neglect to go to our Father's house. All right now. Now, if you are at home in your kitchen with your bonnet on and your house shoes, slippers, and your moo moo, you know that big robe, you know we be wearing the morning. Some of y'all women wear the morning, the big moo moo, when you get cooking the bacon and the eggs and the grits and all that. You can still praise God. Amen. 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 Some of your best praises is when you're looking around me. I wish somebody would catch me in the spirit. Some of your best praises is when you are all by yourself and you ain't got no makeup, no wig, it's on the dresser. Oh my God. Some of your best praises is when you ain't got to put on for an audience. All right now, all right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 
So one of the things we've got to be able to teach people as ministers of reconciliation yes. is how to authentically praise God despite of what's going on around you. Because if we're going minister, to minister to somebody's heart, we've got to be able to encourage them that when things are going bad, they can understand how to reach and get the good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I need somebody to catch me in the spirit when I say this this morning that yes, we might have fallen in our trespasses, but there are somebody that still needs our ministry of reconciliation. We might have fallen short the night before, but guess what? Your ministry is still effective. Somebody needs to hear just because you fell down yesterday don't mean that you can't get back up today and get back on your job, get back on your post because God is In the text, God reconciles us. First of all, he has reconciled all sinners. How did he reconcile all sinners? He reconciled all sinner, sinners. And he says, for the love of Christ compels us. Yes, because we judge thus that if one died for all, somebody yes. shout out all, wow. then all died. In other words, as the writer of Hebrews tells us, that Jesus Christ is the ultimate sacrifice forever. He, we don't need no more rams or bulls or turtle doves. We don't need no more oxen. We don't need the blood of animals. All we need is Jesus Christ. Have another witness here. And he says that for all have died. Since Jesus died for all, all have died. That those who live should live no longer for themselves. All right, now, all right. Here it is. I got, I got to tell you today that part of your ministry of reconciliation would suggest that while you are preaching to those who need reconciling, right. you need to tell them that, yes, you might be down today, but there is a God that can pick you up today. Yes, yes, you might have fallen. You might be busted and disgusted today. But the God I serve, the God I love, can pick you up and hold you, shake you off and get you together today. It doesn't make sense. There is no excuse. We are left without excuses when we say, I will wait until I get myself together. God said, no, no, no. The part of me reconciling you is that I get you together. Yes, yes, yes. Because you can't get you together. Have another witness here. Yes, yes, yes. Have any of y'all ever tried to get yourself together to only find out that you will let yourself down time yes. and time again? Yes, yes. But then the text also says the way God reconciles us, he says, but for him who died for them and rose again. See, he did not just die and right. stay dead, right. but he fought the, the, the devil, the grave, and hell, and death, and he got up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What I'm excited about, my brothers and sisters, is this, that we have a God that fights death, hell, and the grave for us. Yeah. All right. Yes. Oh, he is not the God that when they laid him in Joseph's bar tomb, that he stayed there forever like Buddha did, or like Confucius did, or like Muhammad did, or like any other earthly being did. But the God I serve, yes, sir. God! Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. My God. God. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. On that third day morning, he yeah, got yeah, up. He got up. But then watch this, watch this. Not only does God reconcile all sinners, but he has regenerated all repented sinners. All right now, all right now. Each new believer receives a new nature. That yeah. word regenerate means that they take on a new skin or yes, sir. Yes, sir. new yes, sir. DNA or yeah. a regene, a homo genesio in the Greek, where we get the word homo same, or where we get genesio, we get uh, that gening, that recreation, that DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, yes, sir. Yes, sir. we get it from God. And so what God has done, not only has he recreated something that was not, because even David says it, when he messed up with God and, and laid down with Bathsheba, he says, Lord, created me a clean heart. Yes, sir, yes, sir. In the Hebrew, that would suggest that word create, would suggest, Brother Roger, that, that God had to do something, had to put a, a heart in David because David said, it wasn't no heart. 
there in the first place. All right, now, all right, now. So God had to create something out of nothing. Yeah, yeah. Put something in a place where it was nothing at all. Yes, what I like right. about God is that God is not intimidated about our empty spaces. All right now, all right now. Y'all gonna catch that in a minute. Yes, God, yes. Is not in. God can do anything with an empty space, with an empty place. God can put what's needed in the room. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God can put what's needed in you. Yes. And when there is things missing that God needs to require from us, He will allow us to go through processes to develop what we need. Yeah. All right, now. Ladies and gentlemen, watch this, watch this, watch this. God allows us to go through life's journeys. Hold on, on me, brother. Hold on for me, brother. I'm almost there. Uh, God allows us to go through uh, life's journeys and processes so that we can build this ministry of reconciliation effectively. Yeah. All right, now. You cannot preach Reconciliation unless you've gone through being reconciled. All right now, all right now. Can I tell you how important the ministry of reconciliation is? Go ahead. What that means is that throughout the week when when all of the people is looking at the news and they're seeing how it is reported in, on CNN just the other day that they say by December 1st, 317,000 Americans will have died from COVID-19. Lord help us. Oh, the church need to be on this job. Yes, yes sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. When, 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 when we see the news and we see how politicians are posturing and lying about what they've done and they've never done before and how they're talking about, you know, this and that and that and this, and it harms the community, and particularly the black community. Oh, the church needs to be on this job. All right now, all right now. One of the things we got to understand in the Ministry of Reconciliation is how to tell people that they have a right to pray. All right now, all right now. Because without prayer, yes, the Christian walk becomes depleted. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Without prayer, the Christian life becomes weak and frail. Yes. It becomes broken and disgusted with the trials of life. I'm almost through when I tell you this. Our ministry, our special ministry, this ministry of reconciliation would suggest that even in the church house, there are those who have fallen by the wayside, and those who remain must become yeah. reconciled. Yeah. 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 Come on. We talk them out of the church, mm. yes, sir. but we don't talk them back into the church. Lord, help us. Yeah. All right, yes, sir. All right. Go. Yeah. Yeah. And so understand, the task that we have have been given the ministry of reconciliation because the text says like this. It says, Learn therefore the terror of the Lord. Yeah. We persuade men. Uh-huh. Yeah. But we are well known to God. Yeah. And I also trust are well known in your conscience. All right now. Watch this in verse 12. It says, For we do not commend ourselves again to you, but give you opportunity to boast on our behalf. All right, then. That you may have an answer for those who boast in appearance yeah. and not in heart. All yeah. right, then. For if we are beside ourselves, All right, then. it is for God. Uh -huh. Or if we are of sound mind, yeah. Yeah. it is for you. Yeah. When you get beside yourself, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. all of us it ought not suggest that I got beside myself and cussed everybody out. All right now, all right now. But when I get beside myself, yeah, yes, it ought to suggest that I'm giving God more praise yeah. than I've ever given Him before. Yes, 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 it ought to suggest that I'm looking, I don't mind looking ugly for God. It ought to suggest that I don't mind breaking my heels and tearing my clothes yeah. to give God the praise He deserves. That while I'm giving God breakneck praise, yeah. I'm still sound mind. Yeah. Because as long as my mind is stayed on Him, yeah. 
my praise is for him. But the minute I get outside of myself, my praise is not real. But not only, watch this, not only is this task that we have of the ministry of reconciliation a special ministry, but watch this, not only do we have the task, but we have the title. Can I tell somebody that God looks upon us as his earthly ambassadors? All right, now. Understand, ladies and gentlemen, that you don't have to be a pulpit preacher to have the ministry of reconciliation. As a matter of fact, in fact, you ought to be able just to be understand uh, your, your, your place in the pew. To know that you've been licensed to preach the gospel. I, I know what you mean. I know what you're saying. Well, preacher, I'm not no preacher. I don't have the gift of gab. I don't know what the gift of gab is. Folks just talk a lot sometimes and think they got the gift of gab, but they're talking loud and ain't saying nothing. All right, but understand that the title of ambassador for Christ, yeah. ambassador, would suggest to us, ladies and gentlemen, he says, for therefore, from now on, yeah. we regard no one according to the flesh. Yeah. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer. In other yeah. words, he is not in the incarnate flesh anymore. He, right, no. he cannot pierce his hands no more. You yeah. cannot stick a spear in his side no more. Yeah. That's all that's said. In verse 17 it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, yeah. he is a new creation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God is making something new out of you. Yeah. God is doing something awesome with you that may never been done before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The reason why I know this is because he's done something for me yeah. that I can do for myself. All right, now. All right. I say, what is that? Well, I'm glad you asked. All right, now. Well, he said that old me yeah. that you've been struggling with yeah. is now passing away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he said, if you pay close attention, yeah. in other words, if you behold... Yeah. All things yeah. have become new. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the stuff that used to get you yesterday, yeah. the stuff that used to make you flip out yesterday, yeah. here you are now, not even able to succumb yeah. to the trick of the enemy no more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have another witness here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One of the most effective tools of your ministry of reconciliation yeah. is to be able to show people yeah. That you have changed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they ever show people, see, they say often that the best sermon that people can hear preached right, is man. one they can see live. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so if you really want to be an effective minister All right, now. of reconciliation, yes, yeah. I would suggest to you this morning yeah. to see how you live. Yeah. Because I'm like the old songwriter who said, if I couldn't say nothing, yeah. yes, sir. Lord Jesus, I would wave my hand. Yeah. Yeah. And the folks said, when I wave my hand, that the attention is not brought on me. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the attention is given yeah. to Jesus the Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have I got a witness here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening, my old spring. Yeah. Yeah. Want to tell somebody?
2 Corinthians 5, the 5th chapter, verses 12 through 19. Good God of might. And I hope you are working out your ministry of reconciliation as well. Hallelujah. We are so on fire. I got to give the announcements. But we are so on fire in this place. My God, God's going to have to help me to get through this. Hallelujah. Before I read the announcement, we got a call from the Census Bureau called to thank Wild and this community for filling out the 2020 census forms. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Wild and this community. Okay. Uh, let's see. We thank God for Pastor Humphrey. We've done that. The announcements. Pastor Search Committee, thank you for your prayers. They are nearing the end. So continue to pray. Amen. Virtual Learning Center. Registration is open for new students. We need mentors and volunteers. Go to our website to learn more. Classes start September 8th. Spirit of Sharing Minister, Ministry is having a mobile feed distribution on September 1st. They're having a mobile food distribution, I'm sorry, on September 1st at 199 Wood Avenue. Winder, Georgia at 11 o'clock a.m. First come, first serve. You want to get there early. Tithes and offering. We encourage you to continue to give for we are still a church body having church. Yeah, all right. Wednesdays and Sundays. Amen. I believe Okay, I have one more. Uh, thank you for joining us, and I will close out in prayer. Thank you to everyone who's here in the sanctuary. Don't panic out there. It's not many of us. It's very few of us. We are practicing safe social distancing, and we are wearing masks, okay? Amen. 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 Lord, we thank you for a wonderful day. We thank you for a powerful message, a word that we can live by, oh God. We thank you for your spirit, how you filled us this morning, oh God. Those who are here with us and those who are watching and listening, we thank you, God. And we ask that you would stay with us, be with us, and continue to protect us with your loving arms as we leave this place, but never from your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, Ido. Amen.